Hey, this is Greg, the Rural Economist, and this is another Seed for Thought video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about marriage licenses, but I want to make a deal with you. I want this video to start a conversation, but I want a promise from you. I want you to think about it before you respond. I don't want an emotional or a reflex response. I want you to actually think about this because I think this one's kind of cool, okay? This one's from the news. So this past week, the Alabama State Senate passed a bill that would effectively eliminate state-issued marriage licenses. If two people wanted to get married, all they would have to do is go to the courthouse, prove that they were of age, and submit an affidavit that states that they are not already married and that they are not related. And guess what? They're married. No need for a signature of a judge or an officiant of any type. I think it's a good idea. Now, in order to get truly into this discussion, we've got to do a little bit of history and a little bit deeper. I want to discuss, first of all, what a license is. A license is when you go to your government and you ask for permission from the government to do whatever the thing is. So when you go get a marriage license, you are actually asking for your government's permission to love this individual. Okay? Now, marriage licenses started in the United States. The first state to have it was Massachusetts. And then it kind of spread throughout. Marriage licenses throughout the history of the United States have been used in a major way to prevent interracial marriage. Now, it wasn't just black and white. It was black and Hispanic or white and Asian or Asian and Hispanic or whatever. There was a Supreme Court decision in 1896, Pleasy versus Ferguson, which kind of coined the phrase separate but equal. Now, that was primarily involved in education, but the states went at it and went, hey, hey, there's justification for this segregation of the colors. So, you can marry anybody you want as long as it's somebody that's your same color. Now, I for one believe that there is only one race, the human race. I do not believe that the divisions that we've created actually exist. They're, they're fictitious. They're, they're for a purpose. They're, they're, not, they're not natural. There is the human race and that's it. So interracial marriage actually doesn't exist. Well, last year, the Supreme Court made a decision, hey, you know that marriage thing? That should apply to same-sex couples as well. And we had the big brouhaha about the lady up in uh, Kentucky that she wound up losing her job and going to jail and all this stuff because she wouldn't issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. And a bunch of states, including my own, challenged the Supreme Court on it and, you know, it didn't work out too well for them. All right? So, in my state, there are some counties that went, you know what? Okay, I got you. It's available to everybody. But in order to keep me from infringing on my beliefs, I'm just not going to issue marriage license to anybody. That way, I don't have to issue them to same-sex couples. Whether or not you agree with that, I don't know. Hey, at least they weren't being prejudicial. They're like, okay, we're just not going to do it to anybody. Okay, well, that's actually part of the reason that this bill was introduced. The opponents to the bill say, oh, it's just sidestepping the issues. Oh, what about oversight and, and tracking and all of this? I think it's the first step to getting the government out of the family, out of the marriage. I think it's great. Because as long as you're of age, you're not married to somebody else. You're not related. I don't think you should have to ask the government's permission to get married. Now, each county, each city, each municipality, each state is a little different. I have applied for a bunch of business licenses in the past. 
some of them you go to the courthouse or you go to city hall and you go yeah i'd like to start a business in the community they say okay here's your fee fill out this paperwork you're in business congratulations have a nice day and then there are others that in order to start a business to have the privilege to start a business in our community you had to go to the city council meeting you had to have all the city council members ask you questions you had to you know present all of this garbage to them and got a loud car going by but and then they had to vote over whether or not you were going to be allowed to operate a business so by taking out the middleman that allows anybody that wants to get married to get married without having to ask the permission of some officiant. It also allows to where if you don't want a ceremony, all you got to do is fill out the paperwork and submit it and you're done. You're married. Marriage was originally just an agreement between a man and a woman and their God or between two families. I think it's a great first step. I want to know what you think. Let's have a conversation. Do you think the state should be completely out of marriage? Do you think the affidavit idea is a good idea? We don't know if it's going to pass. It's going to the House of Representatives now, and then eventually it'll go to our glorious Governor Robert Bentley, which is questionable at best. Okay? So, what do you think? Great first step, sidestepping the issue. Coward's way out? I want to know. This is Greg the Rural Economist with A Seed for Thought, and step by step, we're bringing rural back. Bye-bye.